Glenn Jorgensen from the Palm Beach County Tourist Development Council. Welcome to our Facebook watch party starring the Palm Beaches. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and that you're inspired to consider taking a trip or making a drive to what we call the perfect place, the Palm Beaches. In this episode, we'll explore our county's abundant arts and culture community. And here to explain why the Palm Beaches is often called Florida's cultural capital, please meet Dave Lawrence, President and CEO of the Cultural Council for Palm Beach County. Thank you so much, Glenn. The Palm Beaches are called Florida's cultural capital because arts and culture are a big part of who we are as a destination and what helps sets us apart from other travel locations. From world-class museums and theaters to towering murals and exotic outdoor gardens, the Palm Beaches are home to more than 200 arts and cultural organizations, producing thousands of exciting experiences for visitors to enjoy all year long. I'm thrilled to be on this Facebook watch party and even more thrilled for you to meet two dynamic young women who have established a solid reputation in South Florida as publishers of a fantastic magazine called Art Hive. They've parlayed publishing success into hosting a series, Art Adventures of the Palm Beaches, which airs on South Florida PBS and is produced in partnership with the Cultural Council for Palm Beach County. We're proud to also air the show on the Palm Beaches TV. Let's take a look. I'm Angela. And I'm Jesse, and this is Art Adventures of the Palm Beaches. We have the ultimate guide to creative happenings and culture across the Palm Beaches. We're gonna be traveling from Jupiter to Boca and everywhere in between. It's easy to see why the Palm Beaches is truly Florida's cultural capital. We are so excited to be able to share this amazing art scene right here in Palm Beach County with a television audience. That's right, Angela. We've shared a lot of stories through the magazine, but Art Adventures lets us take those stories off the pages of the magazine and into your homes or devices. And if you want to revisit any of the cultural hotspots that we visit, watching the episodes on demand via the palmbeaches.tv is the best way to do that. Palm Beach County has a wonderfully diverse warehouse and arts district. We recently visited one called the Flamingo House in Boca Raton. It's a multi-use warehouse space. So let's go take a look. We wanted the Flamingo House to be in a warehouse industrial chic area. We found Rock Urban jumped in our car, came here and was like, this is where we want to be, this is the vision. We want to have art walks and have com community events and we want to have other creatives gravitate to this industrial warehouse district. And we, we want murals, we want to just have this very creative community. The Flamingo House is a co-working space where we invite creative entrepreneurs to work under one roof. With that comes just a big sense of collaboration and helping each other's businesses thrive. So what's interesting is that we're kind of a hidden gem off the beaten path. And here we have from a jeweler to a furniture, create a furniture place with mid-century furniture and artists and co-working space and brewery next door. It really is at Rock Urban and the Flamingo House a really cool creative community that's going on here. And it's something that's different. It's in Boca Raton and it's edgy in the pink city. People don't don't get that this is this is happening in Boca Raton. Another one of our favorite segments involves wearable art. And art can be expressed in many forms, as we know. It can be done in food and kinetic and sculpture and yes even fashion. So let's go take a look now at a unique artist named Kristen with her line Beaver Couture and she makes very unique one-of-a-kind wearable art. And we're surrounded by some really really beautiful dresses. Hey. Vivra Couture, can you tell us your inspiration behind these beautiful creations? Absolutely. So Vivra Couture is a really interesting concept. It's actually really all canvas and hand-painted. We started the whole entire concept from my original company, Garbage Gun Glam. Garbage Gun Glam was made out of paper and plastic and different environmental type things as a marketing platform and an environmental platform. It okay. kind of merged into a, both kind of things. Vivra is a step up 
From that, people loved my designs and they really wanted to see things that could be worn or cleaned, dry cleaned, instead of just paper that really wouldn't last very long. So um, I had this one event on Palm Beach Island at O Palm Beach. Um, we made a paper dress and I had a, an artist live paint okay. on the dress at the event. People were drawn to it. They, they loved the concept. They loved seeing how she was painting on it and the whole yeah. dress came together so beautiful and, and fun that people said, well, you should do more of these. I'm like, well, paper doesn't really last very long. So canvas was the next best thing. It's almost like a paper, but it's a fabric and it's paintable and sustainable to the forever. You can So these wash. dresses are actually canvas. Literally artist canvas. And the artist is directly painting onto this. Exactly. This is not a screen print. Exactly. Okay. Yes, and that's kind of hard for people to get sometimes. Um, but when you see up close, if you see the globs of paint, you see yes. the strokes, you, you really get it. It's real art. And um, it's, it's just something that's never really been done before. I searched the whole world after we did that white dress that we painted to see if other people were doing anything like it. And there's some, some painting on silks and, and different things like that, but nothing quite full on artist canvas, like that thicker fabric. But it feels like really good on. Okay. We're at the Art Couture opening at the Cornell Museum in Delray Beach, and I'm talking to Melanie, the curator who helped put this Hi. all together. Tell me a little bit about the show here. Absolutely. So this show is meant to merge art and fashion in a way that kind of uplifts fashion as art. And I think you'll see that going around the galleries. A lot of, um, a lot of the pieces are actually created by fashion designers. One local designer is in the show, Amanda Perna, who created your beautiful gown. Yes. Yeah, and tell me about some of the other designers that are here, and not everyone's a fashion designer. So right. tell me different types of fashion you can find here. Absolutely, so for instance, we have um, contemporary art that kind of hints at fashion, takes inspiration from fashion. Steven Wilson created a bunch of um, embroidered boxes on like Hermes boxes, Gucci boxes. Becky Rosa created a big piece with Karl Lagerfeld with a Chanel microphone. We have two Andy Warhol sketches from the 1950s when he was into sketching fashion before he was, you know, the pop artist that we all know and love. Yeah, um, yeah and we do have two fashion designers and then one designer who creates upcycled fashion with paper dresses and recycled plastic. I'm a lover of color. I love studying how each color has something to say. I am Renee Phillips. I'm a color alchemist. I'm here with Renee Phillips at the Arts Warehouse, and I want to know, first of all, you consider yourself a process-based artist. Can you explain to everyone what that means? Sure. The process of my creation is very important to me because I'm doing things with paint that school may not have taught me necessarily. The process I work with is with enamel, latex, spray paint, and I'm manipulating the paint with the elements of wind, water, heat, gravity. And is that how you create the sculpture look to your paintings, is using the elements of the world, essentially? Yeah, I pour paint with latex and enamel paint, which by nature is very thick. I mix it with a medium that also thickens it. And like I said, every color does something different. So I need to study each color's dry time to see at what point it creates like a little bit of a film so I can manipulate it with those elements. Wow, that's meticulous. We hope you've enjoyed this brief glimpse into our very vibrant and eclectic arts community here in Palm Beach County. Please tune in to the Palm Beaches TV to see these full episodes and to see where Angela and Jesse take us next. And if you're planning a visit to Palm Beach County, Florida's cultural capital, know that we will be here to greet you with open palms. Thanks for watching.